This is the TCAP end of course practice test. This is question number 45. Uh, the question says, which graph best represents the inequality 3x is greater than 9 minus 6y? Now in order to make it look uh, in a functional way, I need to get y by itself. I'm also going to be smart about it and get y over to that left side. That way I don't have to fiddle as much with the uh, the inequality. Now in order to get y by itself I need to get it from here to here so I'm going to get rid of minus 6y by adding 6y to both sides of this line. These cancel. It gives me 6y plus 3x and this gives me 9. Now I need to get y by itself so I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides because it's on the same side as that y but not close enough to it to leave. So I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. That gives me negative 3x plus 9 and then 6y. The good thing by the way in that first step I just subtracted. I didn't divide anything so this inequality can stay the same direction that it was going before. So from here, I'm going to continue my process down, I have to get rid of times 6. So I'm going to divide everything by 6. So this becomes y. The nice thing is I'm dividing by a positive in that last step, so this stays the same. Negative 3 over 6 is negative 1 over 2x, and then this becomes uh, plus 9 over 6, which is plus 3 halves. Now I can go into my calculator and just graph it. So here I have my calculator. I'm going to clear out everything real fast. Anyway, negative, uh, and I'm going to go into the fraction menu and type in 1 over 2. By the way, if you don't know what the fraction menu is, it's alpha y equals uh, negative 1 over 2 x plus 3 over 2. That's if you have the TI-84 plus. If you have the TI-73, the fractions are on the front page. If it's TI-83, it's a little bit more complicated, but not really. Now, I also know that this is y is less than because y is next to the little end of this. So this is a less than question which means I'm going to shade down, which means on my graph I need to make this thing over here, the thing that's clicking back and forth, look like a graph that's shaded down. So if I hit enter again, I think you have to hit it three times from the initial way. See how it looks like a graph shaded down? That's it. So I'm going to hit the graph button now. I realize that my window range is a little bit off, so I'm going to change it real fast. Hold on. There we go, it looks a little better. Now as you can see, it's shaded down. It's really important to pay attention to where it crosses the y-axis. It crosses above the x-axis. So that's what we're looking for. We're going to look at the graphs. Well, 45 and our A and C are both not it. Are, are, sorry, they're both possible answers because they're shading down. My bad. B is shaded up, so that's not it. C is also, or D is also shaded up, so it's not that one. So it's either A or C. And like I said, pay attention to where it crosses. This one crosses above the x-axis when it crosses the y-axis. So it's up here. We see that A crosses below, so it's not A. So the answer to number 45 is C, just by moving some things around and getting Y by itself. Not really that difficult to do.